Now we have just a typical document here that I'm going to take and I'm going to use to um, insert some section breaks and also uh, turn some of the information into columns. Now at the moment you can see I've got my paragraph markings turned on so I'm showing all of them so I can see everything from my spaces and let me just zoom in here my spaces to where my paragraphs begin and my paragraphs end. Now what they want me to do is essentially take this information here so just these two paragraphs and they want me to turn that into columns they want me to put it into two columns but they also want me to add um, one line of text so let me just add that quick approximately 10 hours later okay so now that i've added in my line of text what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert section breaks now the one i'm going to use going to go up to layout I'm going to go to breaks and I'm going to use a continuous section break so that's not going to break the page to the next page but it's going to section of a portion of um, this particular page so you can see there's my section break and then I'm going to go to the end of the section um, that I want broken off <laughs> okay layout breaks continuous okay so now I've got my two section breaks um, around this particular section. So what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to turn this into two columns. Can you see that it doesn't affect anything else? I can then take the remainder of my text, this line over here, move it up and decide to move this up as well. And you can see there's my section break. There's the one at the end and I've still got this now let's insert one last item and let's move um, this text over here we want to move it to the top of the next column now how do we do that we do that by using our breaks and inserting a column break and again you can see it does everything only inside this section it does not affect anything else so this is how i use my section breaks and my columns